short questions what is called the uppermost layer of the earth it is called the crust what is special feature of this layer it is the thinnest uh, of the all the layers as i said 35 km for land and 5 km in seabed name the main mineral constituents of the continental mass this is silica and alumina you can also call it as cr si and al name the constituents of oceanic crust so silica and magnesium these are the constituents of the oceanic crust what is the radius of the core so the radius of the core is around 3500 km what are the main constituents of the core the main constituents of the core are nickel and iron that is why we call it as ni for nickel fe for ferrous that is iron it is known as nife or nife what is the earth crust made up made up of so it is made up of different type of rocks igneous sedimentary metamorphic rocks what are called igneous rocks so when the molten magma cools down it becomes solid so rocks formed in this way these are known as igneous rocks what are fossils the remain of the dead plant and animal trapped in the layer of rocks you know thousands years years ago and uh, because of different temperature pressure condition uh, these have changed or for transformed into fossils what happens when igneous and sedimentary rocks go under great heat and pressure so they change into metamorphic rocks now short uh, type questions what are minerals how are they useful for mankind so minerals these are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical properties and definite chemical composition so minerals are very useful for mankind some minerals like the coal the natural gas and the petroleum these are used as fuels they are also used in industries iron aluminum gold uranium etc and they are used in medicine in fertilizers etc mention various types of rocks so there are mainly three types of rock igneous rocks and uh, in this we have various uh, you can say sub categories also but igneous rock and uh, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock these are the three main categories so igneous rocks we have sedimentary rock metamorphic rock igneous rocks what is igne igneous rock when the molten magma cools it becomes solid the rocks formed in this way these are called igneous rocks they are also called primary rocks they are of two types intrusive rocks and extrusive rocks extrusive rocks and intrusive rocks what are these when molten lava comes on the earth surface it rapidly rapidly cools down and becomes solid rocks formed in this way on the crust is called extru extrusive igneous rocks for, for instance basalt when we talk about intrusive rocks sometimes the molten magma it, it cools down deep inside the earth crust solid rocks are formed these are called intrusive igneous rocks since they cool down slowly see here it it cooled down rapidly here it cools down slowly they form large grains for instance granite then we have sedimentary rocks second category of rock this is the first category small fragment fragments of rocks these are called sediments these sediments are transported and deposited by wind and water so these loose sediments these are compressed and hardened to form sedimentary rocks for instance sandstone is made from grains of sand then we have metamorphic rocks when igneous and sedimentary rocks uh, they are subjected to great heat and pressure high heat and pressure they change into metamorphic rocks for instance clay changes to slate limestone changes to marble what do you know about the interior of the earth interior so our earth is made up of several concentric layers like this first one second one you can say third one with one inside the another just like uh, an onion so these layers are three numbers that is first of all we have crust then we have the mantle and then this one is your third one which is the core so crust it is the uppermost uh, over the earth surface it is the thinnest of all layer it is about 35 km on the continental masses or land and only 5 km on the ocean floors that is that is sea so the continental masses are made up of silica and alumina and it is this called cl that is silica and alumina cl the oceanic 
crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium that is why it is called sima s i m a sima so it's silica magnesia then we have mantle second part this one it is just beneath the crust it extends up to depth of 2900 km and core it is the innermost this one this is the innermost one its layer radius is about 3500 km it is mainly made up of nickel and iron and is known as nifa nickel and ferrous ferrous is for iron so nifa the central core has high temperature and pressure 